Welcome everyone to the Coaster Spot. This is Alex and it is the most exciting time of the year. It's announcement season and Kings Dominion and Doswell, Virginia kicked it off last week with their new roller coaster, Raptura. This will be a Bollinger and Maviard wing coaster and in the launch category, it will be the longest, tallest and fastest. It's only beating out two other coasters, but it's still a record. And this is, of course, going to be replacing the legendary Volcano of the Blast coaster. And I'm not going to even begin to try to compare the two rides. I don't think there's any point of it. Of course, Volcano will ultimately probably have been a better attraction. But I do think it is a worthy replacement for this plot of land. Now, the coaster will expand the theme that was created from Timbili back in 2022 in the Jungle Expedition area of the park. The coaster will have a Mayan jungle theme with a queue line that looks like it will be very lush with lots of foliage. Hopefully, that is the case. And it will begin using the old volcano queue building. That's the only part of the ride that is left over. As you enter through the line, it will end up in a circular area with what seems like some kind of surprise in the middle of that circular section and then it will accumulate with the merge point which is a entrance portal with some rock work that you're going to pass through the station looks like it's going to be kind of expedition tent themed so very basic should look nice fit the part but nothing amazing the ride of course will have those wing trains which have two passengers hanging out on each side of the train with nothing below or above them and it will have 20 passengers total on two trains so five cars on each train as you're rolling out you're going to make a right hand turn and enter onto the launch track unfortunately this is going to be the only place where it seems like it's going to interact with any theming hopefully that is not the case and we'll talk about that more later on but it seems like there's going to be a series of arches that you pass underneath as you launch zero to 65 miles per hour hitting its top speed and the launch intensity of this should be somewhere between backlot sun coaster and flight of fear now entering into our first element after you hit your top speed it's going to be the 145 foot tall first of its kind wing over element this will be the highest point of the ride of course and this is not quite an overbank not quite a top hat no inversion whatsoever just a 90 degree stall if you've been or are familiar with blue fire at europa park or any of its clones around the world uh, this is very similar to what that does and unfortunately to me this might be the weakest part of the ride as I'm not that big a fan of that element. However, it's placement right over the midway that makes up the entrances to Timbili, Reptilian, and Raptera now. It looks like it's going to be all inspiring to be able to look up at this thing as it flies over. And as you're on it, you're going to be feeling like you're falling out to the side as it slowly makes its way over this element. So kind of cool. With its placement, but I really wish that Kings Dominion and especially BM had gone out of their comfort zone a little bit and made this a wave turn, which would have been perfect for Kings Dominion in particular since their own RMC coaster does not have a wave turn. So it would have been a great opportunity to introduce that into the park and introduce that onto a BM to expand what their layouts can do in the future. But Regardless, kind of cool to see something unique at the same time. After you exit this element, you're going to go into your first of three inversions. It's going to be a 118 foot tall dive loop, which I'm happy to see. I'd rather have a dive loop than an Emelin, which seems to be on so many looping B&M coasters. So great to see that. I think it's a more exciting element and its placement is going to be just parallel to the queue line. So there should be great opportunities to watch people's faces as they're diving into this element. Exiting that element, you're going to go into what could be a very neat element depending on how fast you go on over it it's going to be a 90 foot tall twisted air time hill looks like it could add a little bit of whip to it and could be a lot of fun although the rendering kind of sees like it goes over a little slow but we'll see this could be one of the highlights of the ride for sure uh, this is where i feel like a missed opportunity right around here that they didn't include any near miss elements uh, wing coasters are famously known for having them especially let's go with gatekeeper in the same chain of parks at cedar point it has those keyholes right over the entrance of the park would have been fantastic to have something like that maybe a mayan themed pyramid just like jaguar has 
as you go through the top of it right over the station. That would have been really cool to have had. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they're going to have any. And I think that is one of the biggest complaints I'm hearing on the internet. And that's the first thing I thought of when I saw the rendering. Hopefully there's some surprises and we'll get something else, but I don't think that's going to be the case, unfortunately. However, after this element, you're going to enter into a 180 degree rising turnaround that's going to go right over the midway and nearly miss Tim Beely on its way to a first of a kind element that they're calling a wing slide. It's basically exiting that turnaround. You're not going to debank and you're just going to drop out of the hill, hopefully giving some nice sidewards airtime. Looks like it could be kind of similar to what Candemonium does after its first helix we'll have to see that could also be a highlight of the ride again you're going to go over the midway back into the second half of the ride kind of follows the b m formula to a t all the way to the end of the ride you're going to go into a corkscrew should be a lot of fun Nothing to say about that really though. Then you're gonna swoop over the launch track and queue line and enter into airtime hill. Of course, this could be fantastic if it has a lot of airtime. And then you're gonna have your final inversion, a Raptor 360 roll, which is basically just a slow rotating heartline roll that a lot of other wing coasters have. And the layout will finish off with a 180 degree turn, which looks like it will be very boring, unfortunately. And that will complete the 3,086 foot long layout, which is about 300 feet longer than Volcano ever was. So that's great to see. And as I said, there's really no reason to compare the Volcano to this coaster because it's so different. Although I'm really hoping that Canada's Wonderland, when they announce their new coaster tomorrow, is going to interact with their mountain in a similar way. So can't wait to see that. And of course, we'll have a video on that tomorrow. So hit that bell for instant notification when that comes out, or just think about subscribing. Of course, it's always free. Like, comment, and subscribe. All that stuff really helps the channel. And allows me to continue to make these videos for you but going back to Raptoria I do like that it interacts with the Midway a lot more than Volcano ever did Volcano was very in its own plot you didn't ever really get very close to anything of the ride and when the ride ended it seemed like it was just picking up its pace with that 80 foot drop into the brake run but I think that's one of the biggest improvements of the layouts that I can say and I'm very excited to try this out as I said it looks like it's gonna be a worthy replacement the other wing coaster that's launched that I've done of course is Thunderbird and it's a lot of fun and I expect this one to be a big hit with the general public and bring in the people and it will also have a decent capacity of course it only has 20 passengers per train which is very low for a B&M coaster but I think they should be able to handle it as they're very easy and quick to load but anyways I think that's all my thoughts on the coaster I'm not disappointed with this it's a way better coaster than what was rumored in the past and i'm glad to try it out next year and of course we'll probably have some construction updates hopefully before they are finished with the layout because they are rushing through it and are going to be done with it probably within a month or two thank you all for watching again like comment and subscribe i love all your comments and i love that you all watch see you next time this has been alex bye